Okay. You are listening to WBHM Digital Broadcasting, Birmingham, Alabama. Since 1948, Fate Magazine has brought you reports of the strange and unknown, all of them true. Fate Radio is carrying on that tradition, bringing you the unusual, macabre, strange, and bizarre. Join host Cat Hopson Sunday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern on WBHM Digital Broadcasting. This is Ghost Talk with 187 PI. Sit back and prepare yourselves for an adventure into the paranormal world with host Shelly Robertson and 187 PI Research Team. Ghost Talk is broadcasting live from Ohio's most haunted jail. Learn about their ongoing research at the jail and abroad, investigation techniques, and their personal encounters. Here is your host of Ghost Talk and 187 PI founder, Shelly Robertson. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Ghost Talk Radio. We have a fantastic and interesting show planned for you tonight, and we are coming to you live from the haunted old Paulding County Jail. So make sure you're logged into chat at wbhm-db.com where you can ask us any questions you may have. Tonight, I have Kristen Boyd with me. And we will be discussing the universe and paranormal activity, which includes ley lines and other anomalies. Hello and welcome, Kristen. Hey, everyone. Um, Before we get into tonight's topic, there is something else exciting we have going on tonight. And it's a ghost hunt weekend's ghost hunting event. And we wanted to take a few moments to speak with a couple gals attending tonight's ghost hunt. Hello, and first of all, welcome Peggy. She's ghost hunted all over the United States, and she brought with her Penny, and tonight is her very first ghost hunt. Welcome, ladies. Nice to be here. Thanks for inviting us. Awesome. So, what brought you to the jail? How'd you find us? I was looking for a place that was close enough where my sister and I could come. And mm-hmm. we're she's about an hour from here, I'm about an hour, two hours and a half from here. So this was the perfect timing. Her birthday is actually in December and there are not a lot of ghost hunts around right. that time. And so we combined both of our birthdays and we're here this weekend. Awesome. Well, happy birthday, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's a, you're actually sisters. We yes. Sisters. Okay. And yeah. where are you coming from, Peggy? Oberlin. Oberlin, Ohio, Ohio. and you're just like, where are you from? Swanton, Ohio. Swanton, Ohio, so that's not too far away. So I'm going to ask you, Penny, Mm -hmm. being your first time ghost hunting tonight, Yes. um, are you afraid? No. Are you excited? Very excited. Well, let me tell you, a lot of times where we're at right now, we get a whole lot of activity, and you may hear the sheriff himself talk while we're doing the show. He does cool. that often. So, uh, cool. What is, and I'm going to go back to Peggy. Now, what is your most exciting place that you've ghost hunted today? Mansfield, because I've gotten quite a few, we've gotten quite a few, little bit of activity there. Um, so maybe after tonight, this will be my most exciting, <laughs> but this is actually the first time I've been here. But Mansfield was, was really, it's been really good. That is a, a, a place where... I haven't been there yet, but it's on my bucket list. I need to get there. The jail's here, and as far as anything's concerned, this is the most haunted jail, and so obviously Mansfield's the most haunted prison, so I do want to get there. Have you not been there yet either, Kristen? Lots of stories, but I've never been there. And a lot of evidence. I've seen a lot of evidence. Now, you said that you were at... A few other different places while sure. we were talking earlier. Where sure. all have you been? I've been to the Whaley House in San Diego. Now, tell me about that place. That place was 
for us, there was not a lot of activity when we were coming through there. Um, but of course, the night before, there had been a lot. We heard later that, you know, three days later, it's just a matter of hit or miss, right? You sometimes go and see nothing. You go back to the same place and you see a lot of things. Yeah. So that wasn't so great for us. I mean, it was wonderful being there. Um, we just didn't have a lot of activity. Um, and, and that's how it is sometimes. It's just like fishing, like we talked about earlier. You can go to Stocked Pond and catch nothing. Go there later in the day or the next day, and you've got an abundance. You know, mm-hmm. you just, you just never know. Nope. And and if you've been to Florida, sure. Um, there's a, I can never remember the names of these hotels, but there's one in Ybor City, which is right near Tampa, and then there's one in Tampa and St. Pete as well. And, and so- were those? pretty thrilling they it was nice to be there again but a not not a lot of activity the most activity I've had is down in Mansfield and that's not saying I have it all the time or a lot but yeah. that's where it seems I get the most so if you had to put a place on your bucket list or just you say you'd like to go Eastern State Penitentiary <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it seems like all the prisons got yes. lots of activity. Yeah. And you have to think oh, about yeah. all the energies that's been there. And a lot of them, steel, concrete, still have lead paint. And lead paint holds um, residual hauntings. Right. Um, some of them are even sitting on limestone, like this building is right here. Right. And just by the nature of what it is. Right. Yeah. And concrete. when you get to some of the places where they did capital punishments mm-hmm. yeah some of the prisons you know so you're gonna have and some people will have committed murders right. so you've got lots of death and lots of <laughs> right lots right. of things going on <laughs> right right so um you want to go to eastern state mm-hmm. and it and is that where you want to go to yes. yes what's on your bucket list Kristen? Gosh, there's too many. <laughs> I have a huge list. Um, I'm trying to even think of one of them. I got one of them that was on my bucket list. Oh, that was Waverly. Well, yeah, I've been there and I want to go back oh, to Waverly. Oh, yeah, that would be very interesting. Yeah, it's just, that place is very haunted. I got a lot of good stuff from there. It's an amazing place. Um, this guy, X House. Oh, yeah, there's a lot like going on with that. I'd like to check that out. Um, mm-hmm. What is it, Dahmer's home? Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer. (laughs) Uh, We here have a love for the study of serial killers. So so any place that a serial killer occupied, we would like to go there. (laughs) Road trip, absolutely. (laughs) We'll take a tour. (laughs) I recently saw that that little place that's called the Dollhouse. Did you see something about that? That that. is here in Ohio, I do believe, I think, I'm almost certain, but it's just a small little house that's supposed to be haunted, and it's full of dolls, and you're not supposed to touch them, because the dolls, some of the dolls are also haunted. I recall that. Um, I recall saying I want to go there. That sounds interesting. Because I do collect dolls, too, Mm -hmm. so that's kind of (laughs) intriguing to me. (laughs) I know, right? So, what are you hoping to find tonight, Peggy? I'm completely open to whatever we find. I'd like to get some EVPs, of course, doesn't everybody? Absolutely. Right? And I and I just I'm interested in in the history of the building as well as finding things. And so I'm just open to whatever happens. And if we get nothing, we it's still okay, right? We still had a good time. Well, we right. celebrated our birthday, but we're really looking for some. EVPs. I know. So, <laughs> ghosty spirit friends, did you hear that? We have a birthday. <laughs> So let's give them a happy birthday tonight. And it's so, I heard something. Did you? Yes. Um, a, a female voice. So I don't know if anyone else caught it, but I caught it. Um, it's kind of funny. So I have talks with the ghosts, just normal conversations, not asking them stuff. Sure. Just like talk to them. Right. So um, they're usually so good about um helping us out and uh, they know your birthdays or you're here for your birthday so 
Well, they will have recorders at nighttime as well. Yeah. That leaves them running. Yes. Because you get a lot like We have sleeping. actually have yes. two. Well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> to be surprised what you capture when you go home and play it back right. and listen to it. Oh, yeah. People who's been asleep here. And you're, you're one of those. Yeah. The very first time you ever came here. Yeah. She spent the night. Go ahead and tell them about it. Well, I spent the night and slept on the second floor right down here. Went home a few days later, played back, and I heard a woman, and she said, do you see them? And then you can hear a man right after that say, I see them. Oh, While well, she was sleeping. Oh, that's, sleeping. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so I'm like, how did that make you feel that they were watching yeah. while you were sleeping? Yeah. Especially because it was a couple days later. Yeah, huh? maybe exactly. if you would have heard it. <laughs> so crazy. Okay, ladies, I know you're anxious to get back to the group and get your equipment ready. Yes. I think they're getting ready to start the hunt. I thank you so much for yeah. coming on tonight. And we will join you guys shortly downstairs. Okay, thank, thank, you, thank you, so you so much. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Now, um, getting into tonight's topic, it's so good to be able to talk to guests. I mean, we don't often get a chance. Wonderful. Especially on the show, you know. Um, I will say, we have touched base a bit on past shows about ley lines, but we want to dig a little deeper into what they really are and how it relates to paranormal activities. Now, ley lines are apparent alignments of landmarks, religious sites, and man-made structures. The pseudoscientific belief that these apparent lines are not accidental speculates that they are straight, navigatable paths, and they have spiritual significance. Now, ley lines exist in the same manner as the constellations exist. You can imagine lines connecting certain stars together, such as Orion's belt, just as you can imagine lines connecting ley lines together, such as crossroads. Now, these lines are not actually guided by anything in nature or reality, but are actually patterns our brains create on the world around us to help us make sense of the world we live in. In actuality, Earth's ley lines are invisible to us, but ancient civilizations could sense the energy and power created by them and built many of their monuments on them. They seem to have been built all within straight lines, connecting one monument to another, and um, they even connected their sites to sacred prehistoric structures, creating the paths and the designs that we view today on some of these ley line maps. Well, energy levels of the ley lines, they will vary according to the seasons and depending on the alignment of the sun, the moon, and the stars. Mm -hmm. Now, ley lines, they transmit the energy and light from these sources to create what is known as power points. Now, these power points boost the level of energy within that ley line creating what some people have called pure bliss and magical moments from visitors during that time. Now, these times of PowerPoints were ideal situations for sacred rituals, where the intense energy could be used for healing, mm. fertility, or for connection with the higher realms. Now, however, some of the energy produced could be overwhelming. Since ley lines are within a straight path, the energy flow is very fast and very powerful and it is considered dangerous to human beings. Oh, fascinating. Well, the ancient sacred sites were built on these ley lines to not only reap the benefits from that energy, but also to slow down the energy flow so the energy could be harnessed for beneficial purposes. Mm -hmm. Now, when a power point is aligned with an equinox or sol solstice, sunrise or sunset, it means that site's ley line's direction is exactly to the point where the sun rises or sets on the horizon on that specific day and time. Now, Stonehenge is an example of this perfect and exact point and location due to it being built according to the summer solstice sunrise. 
I know, everybody, this probably sounds a little bit confusing, <laughs> and I wish I could just show you the map of it, but if you get a chance, just look up the Ley Lines map. You'll see how all these lines... It's quite amazing. It is, across the whole United States, and actually across the globe. It's not just here, it's the whole entire world.